Thanks for joining us for the August edition of the Purdue CME Group Ag Economy Barometer Survey Results. I'm Jim Mintert, Director of the Purdue Center for Commercial Agriculture, and I'll provide a brief overview of this month's survey results. The Ag Economy Barometer dr dropped rather sharply this month to a reading of 124 compared to 153 a month ago. That was one of the largest single month declines we've had since we started collecting data for the Ag Economy Barometer. Uh, the index of future expectations was the biggest driver of the decline in the barometer. The index of future expectations fell to a reading of 125 compared to 159 a month earlier. The index of current conditions also fell. It fell from a reading of 141 a month ago to 122 in the month of August. Uh, the Farm Capital Investment Index declined to a reading of 56 compared to 67 a month earlier. But notice that the August reading of the uh, Capital Investment Index was still higher than it was both in May and in June. So farmers have not lost all of their optimism with respect to uh, investments in agriculture. Uh, each month we've been asking farmers about their expectations for farmland values, both in the upcoming 12 months and over the next five years. When we asked about the upcoming 12 months, the percentage of farmers that expected lower values increased from 18% a month ago to 21% this month, and the percentage expecting higher farmland values declined significantly from a reading of 21% last month to a reading of 12% this month. The percentage of farmers expecting higher farmland values in the, over the next five years declined from 53% a month ago to 50% on this month's survey, but the percentage expecting lower farmland values over that same time frame declined from 11% to 8%. So combined, there really was no change in farmers' expectations with respect to farmland values over the next five years. Since March, we've been asking farmers whether or not they think the soybean trade dispute with China will be settled soon. And initially, 45% of the farmers said that they expected a quick resolution to the soybean trade dispute, but that's dropped off significantly in recent months. In the August survey, the percentage expecting a quick resolution actually rose a bit compared to the prior month, hit, hitting 29% compared to 22% a month earlier. We followed up by asking farmers if they expect the soybean trade dispute with China to be resolved in a way that's beneficial to U.S. agriculture. And the percentage of farmers expecting a beneficial outcome declined this month from 78% in July to 72% in August. And the percentage expecting um, an unfavorable outcome rose from 19% to 25% here in August. USDA announced in late July what the 2019 MFP payment, uh, payments would be on a per acre basis. So we followed up and asked producers to what extent those payments are going to relieve their concerns about farm income in 2019. 71 percent of the respondents in our survey said that they were either somewhat or completely relieved uh, with respect to their concerns about farm income. However, 29 percent said they were not, as, not at all relieved uh, with respect to their concerns about farm income in 2019. We followed up and asked producers, do you anticipate USDA providing MFP program payments to, for the 2020 crop year? And 58% of the farmers in our survey said they did in fact expect to see payments made again next crop year. That wraps up our survey results for the August Ag Economy Barometer. Our next Ag Economy Barometer uh, survey results will be released on Tuesday, October 1st. And prior to that, we'll have an Ag Outlook webinar on Friday, September 13, following the USDA's release of updated WASD estimates on September 12th. Thanks for joining us. I'm Jim Mintert on behalf of the Purdue Center for Commercial Agriculture.